Yo, what's up guys? What is going on? Zach or Immortal Resistance here. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by once again as always. Today guys, we are going to be talking about Black Ops 3 mod tools and their correlation with DLC. Keeping the game alive is obviously a very, very important factor in a Call of Duty game's lifespan. Obviously, there have been Call of Duties in the past where they don't really do that great of a job, you know, keeping the content fresh, keeping the game upbeat. However, you know, we've also had Call of Duties for instance, Advanced Warfare, which constantly had new fresh content, was constantly getting new DLC, and was always being updated. So, you know, we've been back and forth, we've seen every side of the spectrum. However, we've never seen mod tools before. It was a very brand new thing, very first time we've ever seen mod tools in Call of Duty was this year with Black Ops 3, and so far people have released a couple of maps. I've seen some gameplay of them. Uh, my buddy Hollow Points uploaded it. I've seen a bunch of other YouTubers talking about all these new maps that people are creating, and some of them look really, really cool. Like these are definitely maps that I would love to be able to play and actually see what they're like from a user standpoint. You know, not from just a dev standpoint. You know, obviously those guys are professionals. They're hired to create maps. Having people from the community make maps is a cool thing, and seeing what they can actually do with these mod tools is something. That I'd be really really interested in trying out and actually like being able to play on however our mod tools going to destroy the DLC for future games if mod tools continue on as they are and it becomes more and more available um Will they, will they just end up destroying DLC? You know, obviously, if people are sitting here making brand new maps, like really creative, really unique, really cool maps, if people are making new guns to put into the game, if people are doing all sorts of crazy stuff like that, is that going to ruin the points of having, you know, four DLC packs out of the year with uh, with new zombie stories, with new multiplayer maps, with new guns, with, with stuff like that? How is that going to affect that? And really, I want to see what you guys have to say about this. So let me know down in the comments below. Do you guys think that mod tools are going to destroy DLC? Do you guys think that there's really not a correlation between them? What do you guys think about this? I'll be definitely looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say about that. Because it's something that really I, I can't stop thinking about in all honesty. Because every time one of these new maps drops that I see my friends post videos on, I go ahead and I watch the video and the map looks awesome. Like these maps look super, super cool. And it's like, man, I really wish I could play that. But at the same time that's also my reaction every time a new DLC pack gets released or it gets uh, gets trailered or whatever so you know I see these new maps I want to play them but if we were getting like new new mod tools maps if we were getting DLC packs like the regular every two two and a half three months but we were getting mod tools maps made was that English I don't know if we were getting new maps made for mod tools every couple of weeks or so I feel like that would almost ruin the point of having DLC packs just because there'd be so much fresh new content you'd end up forgetting about the maps you played like two three weeks ago every time the new ones would release you know what I mean so let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments below if you guys enjoyed the video feel free to slap that like button give it a nice little love tap show your support it is always appreciated and if you guys are brand new to the channel feel free to subscribe on your way out as well as always I've been Zach with Remoto Resistance I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video thank you guys so much for stopping by have an awesome rest of your day Stay happy, stay positive, and don't forget to smile because you are never going to regret it. Peace out.